But I found creative outlets to be a really strong way to express myself and to connect with other people. So I've always loved writing music, painting, poetry, reading. Um, and I'm so grateful that I have all these threads in my career now that I'm able to, to draw upon. So painting, for example, is something that I've always loved and sometimes I incorporate it into the process of composition. An example of that would be a piece called Night Fairy. And that's a piece in seven sections. And I created the music by putting seven panels on the wall in my studio in Chicago, where I was living at the time. And I painted actually the first three minutes of music and then I translated that into music. I then wrote another few minutes of music, then translated that into a painting. So as the music evolved, so did the, the mural, and as the mural evolved, so did the music. So at the end, you had this sort of 15 foot long mural and a 25 minute composition. So that's an example of how I can draw upon those other creative threads into the actual compositional process. Some composers experience synesthesia, which is a natural phenomenon whereby you could see a color and it evokes a tonality or a sonority, or you could hear a sonority or tonality and that evokes a color. A very famous example being Scriabin, also Miles Davis had synesthesia. And whilst I don't correlate particular colors to particular tonalities, I do correlate color and um, art to textures, orchestral textures. For example, I recently wrote a piece called Color Field. It was inspired by a massive painting by the American artist Mark Rothko, um, orange, red, and yellow. I, for example, with the yellow, want to create very hazy, delicate textures. So I use a lot of harmonics and upper harmonics of the orchestra, for example. And the boldness of the red, a lot more earthy colors, a lot more driving rhythm. So I stepped back and then just really reflected on how does this painting make me feel? What kind of energy or response does it have? And then to try and translate that, that response into music. I use the orchestral textures to try and evoke these different colors, these different hues of colors and how I was having a physical response to them as a viewer, but we experience the art and that's what's interesting to me when I'm translating it into music.